what is going on guys welcome back to a brand new video <sighs> it's good to get a little content out here um for the brand new viewers my name is sloby we got a fire going um just kind of got the fire going for a thumbnail i bought myself a emerald legacy air fryer for the sole purpose of air frying pumpkin seeds so I got a bunch of um, Cajun seasoning. So I'm gonna air fry the pumpkin seeds and then I'm gonna carve a couple pumpkins with those and we're not gonna spend too much time on that. And we're gonna get the seeds in the air fryer and with their respective Cajun seasonings on it. I'll show you the Cajun seasoning we're using. Off the top of my head, we are using Slap Your Mama, Twisted Q, Put it on the cracker, dude. And this everything Italian seasoning I have. If I'm missing one, I apologize. So we're going to do that. We're going to test and see which ones are the best. So we're going to try to crank right through these videos. I'm actually excited about the fire pit right now. So I can't wait to show you guys. Just a basic, basic pumpkin carving. Let's do cinematic. So that's what I got from the two pumpkins I bought. And on the ones I grew, there was some green stuff inside of them. And it looked like some of the seeds were starting to grow. So I don't know if I picked it too soon and it grew too and sat too long. I have no idea. But we're going to get these dried off and get some seasonings on them. And we'll come back. So we literally just have a towel down with the seeds drying out underneath the towel and the paper towel. So what we'll do is we'll dry them out, get some olive oil on them, and then some seasoning. So we dried them out, and we're gonna do a, we're gonna put the olive oil, we're gonna coat them generously with olive oil, and we're gonna do six crines. We got the regular iodized salt, everything Italian, Tajin, Tajin, forgive me if I pronounce that wrong. Slap your mama. Cajun two step. And my favorite, Twisted Q Fire Roasting Cajun. So it's important that you dump that olive oil in there for the air fryer because that's what we're going to do. We're going to do about 365 degrees on 15 minutes for the first batch. We're going to open it up a couple times and shake it, move them around. I don't, I've watched a few, if I'm being 100% honest, I haven't watched any videos. I just read one thing that said that, and I'm going to do about 365. So I like to give credit where credit's due. I don't even know where the article was. It was just a recipe off of Google. I just Googled air fryer. I just needed to know the temperature. Everything else I'm doing is on my own. Um... When I first got the air fryer, it said to make sure everything that you were going to air fry had some sort of olive oil on it so it helps crisp it up. So that's just kind of what I've been doing. I've only cooked ribs and potatoes, and the ribs were good. They just weren't off the bone good. And then the potatoes, they, I boiled them on the oven and then put them in the air fryer, and they actually came out really good. And I did put the olive oil on them. So that's, that's what we're kind of doing here. I've already dumped the olive oil in there. I suppose I could have just kept it all in the same bowl, but I'm trying to get each each seed covered. And then we're just gonna do, it's simple guys. This stuff is kind of hot, so I don't want to use too much of it. 
everything Italian. We just want a good coating of seasoning. All over the place, see? So we just want a good coating of seasoning and now we're just gonna mix it up nice and I'm not gonna sit here and do them all because I don't want to bore you to death with that. But I got the Emerald Lagasse air fryer. You could do po toast, bagel, pizza, bake, broil, rotisserie, warm, reheat, dehydrate, roast, and slow cook, or air fry. So we're gonna do the time. Put it up to 17 minutes and then attempt, we're gonna bring down to 375. And then we have a light in there. See if it works. We have a light in there, so we'll be able to watch if they're golden brown. We got them on the air fry level. So let me get this air fryer cleaned up and then we'll get this project go rolling. Blah, blah, blah. So we got our air fryer basket. And we got our first batch of Italian everything. Just pour it in there. We're gonna put the camera down for a minute. And ta-da, we got them spread out. We got the air fryer preheating. And we're just gonna put them in there and then we're gonna get the rest of these seasoned. So when we when we put this in, I'll come back. And with the magic of YouTube, all the other ones will be seasoned. Once it gets up to temperature, the time starts. I'm not with the light. You can see them nice. Guys, I just wanted to let you know that I took the Cajun two step out. I put that on my eggs and stuff one time. I wish I had the Cajun two step hot. I wasn't a huge fan, so I wanted to double up on just the regular salt, just in case I wasn't happy with these other ones. I would have a good amount of just traditional pumpkin seeds. So I just wanted to check in and tell you that. Let's get back to work here. About eight minutes left. Summer snap crack, there you go. Summer snap crack on them popping. So I'm looking for that golden outside and once it hits that, I'll pull it out and put it in the next batch. All right, guys, so I just showed you all my seeds minus the traditional salt and pepper ones. I don't, I didn't think I needed to try them. This was more about the Cajun and uh, Italian seasoning. So, <clears throat> so <laughs> they were in order. I liked them. So you got your slap your mama. Then we had the 
correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, Tajin, Tajin, Tahin, Tajin. <laughs> um, I, I know I butchered that name. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And then Twisted Q, and then the Everything Italian. So let me tell you why. So... Slap your mama. I was just put on to that this um this summer, and the stuff is just slap your mama. It, it's I just love the way it tastes. Air frying this, I've been air frying it on three seventy five for seventeen minutes, and I put the seeds in while the air fry, fryer is warming up. I think that makes a difference. The first batch I took out and shook, but my air fryer you don't have to shake the stuff. You got the heat coming from the bottom, the top, and then the uh, fan from the sides so everything's getting even and they're fresh pumpkin seeds man they're they're uh you bite them they're crispy on the outside nice and they just have a nice taste to them slap your mama i like the salty salty heaty flavor to it it just that's what i like so the next stuff tahin tahin it's got a lemon, it's got a lime flavor to it. And that's why it's my second, it's the second most flavorful. Um, it's salty, but you can really taste that lime backing it up. Because my, really my favorite, so, uh, my favorite seasoning is the Twisted Q. But it's more fire roasted, so you don't have like a salty end to it. It's just you get that heat with just a little flavor. Um, so that's my top three. The Italian everything season, I use that on a lot of stuff. Uh, it's it's a basic seasoning where you just dump the olive oil and then you dump the seasoning into it, mix it up, and then you do your Italian bread and you put dip your bread or um, a lot of those seasonings. I like when we do the potato salad and stuff. I will put those seasonings on top of my potato salads or mac salads. I just like I just like that extra like kick, salty kick with the heat. It's that's something I enjoy. The Italian everything is last is because they got crushed red pepper in there. And it, if you use a lot, it's overbearing. And if you use a little, it just brings the heat. So you really have to like, it's more for your bread. It didn't really set well on the pumpkin seeds. It's good. It's just more, you taste the pumpkin seed and then you taste the crushed red pepper. And then traditional i did salt and then added some pepper so it's just salty peppery so that's what that's what i've been doing 17 minutes 100 375 degrees no 365 degrees sorry i'll put that info in the description below too um i'll put all the seasonings i use in the description below as well it just uh yeah 365 17 minutes put your seeds in there well it's warming up the first time it'll take a while to warm up but once you're if you if you have a couple layers to do then you just keep going and it's not too bad so that's what i got for you guys they were uh i haven't carved a pumpkin in a while i was just telling my dad that this pumpkin started to cook when i had it next to the fire i'm gonna flip the camera I literally was just telling my dad, people do the fancy paper on the outside and carve these pumpkins, and I haven't carved a pumpkin, I don't even know how long. The last one I gutted, I did that that pumpkin, I cooked the chicken in the pumpkin, I think it was. Well, these fancy pumpkins, doing that basic triangle eye, triangle nose, and then the like teeth mouth, that hits just the same as it did when I, when I was a kid. It's just nostalgic. I just think that's the coolest looking. And I'll see if I can get closer to this other one. It's just, I just think they hit the same as they did before. Um, sometimes a tiny bit is perfect. And when it comes to these pumpkins, I don't know, because it's been so long. I love it. So guys, <clears throat> That's what I got for you. Happy Halloween. I hope you enjoyed this video. We had 
the pumpkin seeds with the seasoning. So it was kind of a triple hitter. Get all three of them in. Um, I really enjoyed making, I haven't made pumpkin seeds myself in a very, very long time. They haven't carved a pumpkin in a very, very long time. So it was just kind of cool, just very nostalgic. Thank you for all your support. Um, thank you for watching. If you're still here, thank you for hanging around. Guys, do me that one favor. Tell your grandmas, your grandpas, your moms, your dads, your aunts, your uncles, your brothers, your sisters, your friends, your frenemies, your enemies about these videos. Like them, share them. And guys, thank you for sticking around. I love you guys. Peace out. And we will see you next time. Love you guys. Show me, show me, show me.